Hello everyone and welcome back. I'm Duke Silver. Today we're going to be playing Odysseus. So Odysseus is a hero that I've kind of underrated. Um, also, sorry, I should say the hero power is every three turns you get a level three treasure. And uh, and yeah, like I figured like a lot of the level three treasures can be kind of low impact, but at the same time, like there are some uh, some good ones to hit later on. Like if you get like a baby mimic or like a, a magic beans later on in the game, like uh, it's actually pretty, uh, pretty powerful. Um, and also, of course, I mean, of course, you can uh, you can just hit half ball early and kind of kind of steamroll the lobby. That is a that is a thing you can do as well. Um, but there's also just like a couple decent tempo hits on three. So, um, I, like I said, I think I, I was really undervaluing undervaluing uh, Odysseus, and uh, should probably uh, should probably reevaluate that. Um, we do hit hat here on 3.0 because we, I mean we took the two uh, the two owls. Like you're pretty incentivized to take the, the owls early just in case you do hit these spell treasures. Um, and uh, and we do hit here, uh, but but like I said, there's there, there's a couple like um, like pretty good hits, just like just like that are just kind of nice to have. Like if you hit like a storybook or like even a dagger or a helmet or something like uh, like those are those are just pretty solid to have on three and kind of give you that uh, that extra little boost with some extra value throughout the game. And sometimes just like two extra gold can uh, can make a uh, pretty big difference. Um, yeah, we picked up the second or the two acolytes here. We got our two uh, two owls. Um, and with our hat, I mean, we're kind of we're kind of just doing uh, doing spell things here. Um, there's a triple uh, triple fox in the shop, and we're gonna take it. I'm gonna take the first one this turn. Um, we're gonna we uh, we put the uh, the the fishing rod on uh, on one of our characters, and it uh, allowed us to steal a uh, steal a, a cat. It's a seven seven cat, so it's like kind of a decent size too. So we're just gonna immediately fire a morph a lot on there. A 10-9 pirate cook. I mean, we don't get any value out of it really, but it's still nice to have. And also, we did pick up the Seer Sphere with the uh, the Fox Triple. I, I probably shouldn't have just glossed over that. That is a pretty big deal because we do have Hatball online on 3.2, which is uh, very much ahead of schedule. And we're gonna get a Baby Mimic. So, so now we're like we really want to uh, triple uh, four. I mean, we're not gonna just like start buying random fours, but uh, but that's something. That, I mean, of course, we wanna we wanna get our Baby Mimic attached to like a like a double caster or uh maybe maybe even odin odin's ravens i don't even know if i would want to double double up odin's ravens i mean it gets us a lot of mana but we can still only see so many spells per turn right so i think getting the double casting treasures is, uh, is so much more important to uh to really pop off with mages anyways so yeah double caster or broken spell reflector i think are are our premium hits here i did take a milk woman last turn because um, honestly, Milk Woman's a pretty good, uh, pretty good hatball, uh, hatball character. Just because, like, if you, I mean, Seer Sphere lets you see a lot more spells. So if you see a bunch of food spells and just load her up with food, then uh, you get a lot of value out of that. Um, we're gonna take a fishing rod here, of course, and just throw it on our position one character. We don't really care too much what we steal. Um, Consider taking the crab there, but ultimately just decided against it. I just want to cast some more spells and look for uh, for Milk Woman. I mean, we also want Book. We want we want um, Book Mage, of course. Also, uh, shout out to No Lux Given, who was uh, who was in our lobby that, I, and I totally didn't even realize it. <laughs> um, he was a fellow uh, SBB YouTuber and uh, has, uh, I think, recently started to get into uh, into making more, more FTF content. So, uh, so shout out to him. We're gonna pick up a second Milk Woman here, and just pass the turn. It's a pretty big Tengu on that side of the board. They take out one of our range characters, but we still win pretty handily here. We haven't we haven't tripled our owl or our acolyte at this point, but we do we do find a uh, find a crystal sage, which is fantastic. That's gonna accelerate our attack growth here. Um, also, we were just checking out the uh, the I mean, I was looking at the Fisher King board because of course uh, the Fisher King Aladdin hit is absolutely terrifying, and they already had two treasures. So uh, so what they hit. Uh, or depending on what they hit on six, they could be uh, extremely scary here. Again, we just load up our milk woman with food. We're not bothering with the triple. Um, also, I was playing this kind of late at night, so uh, so this this narc take was actually kind of uh, kind of a misplay. Um, so basically, I had kind of uh, I was thinking about like what I could hit on uh, or for, for three treasures on 5.0, and uh, and I was like, oh, if I hit uh, if I hit magic bean, then I can I can double that, and then I should look for narcs. And then I didn't hit the bean, but for some reason I still had it in my brain that I was like, I should take uh, take Narcissus. Um, and there's the uh, Narcissus triple, and I don't, I just don't want it. I don't think there's anything on five that matters to me. Um, like maybe uh, Divine Messenger, but 
I think like I'm kind of locked in on spells here, so I just decide to uh, to, to forego it and not even waste the one gold. And uh, we eventually find our milk woman triple, but unfortunately none of the uh, none of the things that we really want on four. So I'm gonna take a reroll. I think seeing again we can see that we have we can take another couple turns to find the double caster or or broken spell reflector with this baby mimic. Um, there's also a spell book in the shop there, but I think I just end up foregoing it rather than uh, rather than buying it. I was gonna lock that one, but again I just decide to forego it because I mean we still need to find more uh, more crystal sages and. Uh, I mean, we're not really casting like a ton of spells. Like if we if we had the double caster, I would 100% lock for it there. Um, it's possible that I maybe should take it a little bit more aggressively. But yeah, I just decided against it there. I'm not sure if that's necessarily right or not. Again, we'll just keep loading these uh, this milk woman up with food. We get uh, we get a new U into a uh, Frank's monster, which is actually really really strong on our board here. We've already turned one of our uh, one of our owls evil, and that's one thing I like to do as well. Is turn the owls evil just just in case you need to transition into scam uh speaking of transitioning i think we're gonna pick up this haymaker haymaker i mean we've got the the milk woman already and uh, i mean food is just so so powerful that keeping keeping it uh keeping ourselves open to it is uh is something that i probably want to do like it's possible it's too late already going into six next turn so this might be uh might not be the greatest pick but uh i mean I don't know. Food, food's just so powerful that I feel like I need to, uh, I need to at least consider every haymaker. And yeah, like it, once again, we did turn these owls evil, and that makes this Frank's monster actually quite powerful. So uh, it's gonna get those, uh, get those, those owl stats whenever they die. Uh, unfortunately, we don't find a, a three treasure, but we get our reroll on our four treasure, and we find the double caster. So uh, we're kind of off to the races here, and we're gonna take this book for sure. Now that we've got the mimic double caster. Unfortunately, that healing spell is not going to get triple. We can get out of this narc because we just don't care about it anymore. We've also found this uh, this Hecate, 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 right on uh, on uh, on six here, which is uh, which is really nice. Uh, I don't want to turn anything on my board good, so we just turn the uh, the sage on the bench good. I think we want to we're going to sell something here for this uh, this food spell. It's plus twelve plus twelve food stats. Um, I mean, right now I'm not playing the. Uh, playing the milk woman but I feel like maybe I should I think we're gonna end up cutting uh cutting one of these owls for now and uh like we're just we're getting a lot of stats from these uh from this from this milk woman so I figured maybe it was uh it was fine it was better than the uh what do you call it better than the uh the owl anyways just because uh because it has unyielding as well and yeah we uh we make make short work of uh of no lux board there r.i.p no lux Sorry to sorry to knock you out in such uh, in such brutal fashion, but uh, we've been kind of bullying the lobby. Like we've been scaling really well, and uh, it seems like no one else has really been able to uh, to kind of match our uh, our tempo um, as far as our our, high, our our mage high roll goes. It's only six point one right now, so like it's pretty early in the lobby to be down to a top three. Um, we do find a uh, fire mage, which we of course want to pick up. Um, we can throw the. Uh, the big book on there and uh and get it as big as possible getting it up to 79 is pretty good we don't quite take out the uh the romeo there but it's still enough to uh to win this this combat uh by quite a lot and we're down to a top two on 6.2 here there's a book mage we're far too late so we're not going to bother with that of course we're just going to cast as many spells as we can here i think we're going to get out of this uh this frank's monster and just uh, and just play uh, play our our mages instead. May, may, I might make us a little bit weaker, but I mean I didn't have any other target, and I really wanted to cast that spell, so uh, we can keep morphalotting the uh, that one the uh, Frank's monster or what was originally a Frank's monster and is now a, a, a twig for a turn. Once again, just uh, triple triple casting the uh, the food food stats on the uh, on the milk woman again. There's so many stats. That's pretty much it for this turn. Um, uh, looks like opponent either was digging for something and didn't find it, or they're they, they're they're really next leveling us because that double succubus in the back almost does it. Like our fire mage almost destroys our own board, and then uh, we are left with only a milk woman there. But we do get the victory. We get a rare mages uh, rare mages win in I would say extremely dominant fashion. Like I said, no one else really matched our tempo, unfortunately for them. Um, we we're just uh, we we're just a little bit too powerful for everyone, and uh, just tempoed everyone out of the lobby. 
um, like the uh, the Fisher King Aladdin had the had the potential to uh, to high roll and uh, and compete with us and maybe even go over top of us. Like we're not we're not insanely large by any means. Like a a chair and uh, and and a good good food board could could easily compete with us or like even a good uh, like kiv board or whatever. Um, but yeah, unfortunately they hit, they did not hit the uh, one of the treasures that would that would break the game for, uh, open for them. Um, but yeah. Anyways, let me know if you enjoyed that. Uh, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Oops, sorry. Whacked my speaker. Um, do all that fun stuff I'm supposed to tell you to do. Uh, I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Good, good luck to anyone competing in the tournament once again. And, uh, and I'll see you next time.